yoga class to enhance and to connect with your feminine energy. It is a yoga class special dedicated to all the women and also for the guys, the men that want to connect with their softness and love and playfulness. So I invite you to flow in this uh, yoga class with curiosity and I invite you also to allow your body to soften into the challenges of the practice. We're going to be flowing in a little more um, intermediate level. If you have an idea of um, what is yoga and you have practiced before, I also completely encourage you to practice. But yeah, the idea is a little, the invitation is to just flow uh, with the movements and in the challenges, in the parts that we feel maybe a little more tight and maybe a little more hard in our body, the invitation is to soften from within. So we're gonna start. I invite you to sit down with a sit, um, cross leg seated position and just close your eyes, allowing your hands to rest on top of your knees. Maybe this time we can allow our hands to rest with the, with the palms down, connecting with our inner self. I invite you to take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Breathe in again. And a full breath out. And one more time. And deep breath out. Again, continue breathing with the natural rhythm of your breathing. And with your eyes closed or maybe open, whatever you choose for your practice. I invite you to take a long spine in here, opening a bit your chest, keeping your belly tight, and at the same time to just allow your body to surrender to the posture, surrender to this moment. We can make a little scan of our body, just observe how we're feeling, but our, our thoughts about the feminine energy maybe. I feel connected with my feminine or not. Without judgment, just allow the space to observe, to see what happens inside. Um, feminine energy is all about love and ease and playfulness. And today I want to invite you to connect with the ease in when we move, with the playfulness and when we try different postures and with the love for yourself. Taking a deep breath, I invite you to bring your hands together, the heart center in Delhi Mudra. And here you can maybe make one question to you. How can I invite more soft, softness and more ease into my life, into myself? a full breath in and a full breath out allow your hands to go in your thighs and if you have your eyes closed you can open them softening your face and breathing in we're gonna bring our hands to the to the shins and we're gonna just pull in here a little bit to bring our chest forward and up bring your chin up and as you breathe out, you can roll all your spine behind, bring your chin towards the chest, allow your pelvis to tilt a little forward, breathing in, just go all the way to the front, elbow and back, and breathing out again, go back. We start activating in here a little the body, activating our spine, breathe. And one more time, breathe out, allow that Shoulders to open, feel that space between the shoulder blades. As you breathe in again, come into a neutral position. Exhale all there. And with our right hand, as we take a deep breath, we're gonna bring it to the left knee. And the left hand just opens back and we do here a little torsion, a little twist. Keep your belly tight and opening your chest. You're not leaning too back in here, just always with alignment between our hips and our shoulders. 
exhale all the air. And as you inhale again, you're gonna bring that left hand up. And as you breathe out, bring that left hand towards the right knee. And we find a little side stretch here, take a full breath and breathe out. Bring that um, left hand to the right knee and just roll your body back, opening again the back of your chest, beautiful. As you breathe in again, we keep it flowy. We're gonna open that right hand to the back and exhale. Just gentle, allow your body to twist. One more breathing in here. Exhale. And as you inhale again, bring that right hand up. Breathing out, just lengthen towards the left knee. And allow that opening in there, take a full breath. And as you breathe out, we go with the right hand to the left knee and just push your body back around the spine, bringing your chin to the chest. Beautiful. As we breathe in again, we're gonna um, uh, release the hands and we're gonna bring them to the top of the mat. We're gonna start finding our tabletop position. Good, we are gonna tuck the toes in here, knees as wide as the hips. And exhaling, we're gonna bring our hips back. We can lengthen a little our arms, just coming to kind of like an active balasana, allowing our feet to stretch too. As you breathe in, I invite you to push with your hands to ground and roll your spine up doing like a running there, chin to the chest as you exhale. Very soft, we can bring the hips down. As you inhale again, push those shoulders back. And exhale, go all the way back again with your hips to the knees. Breathe in, go up again, rounding your spine. You're doing like a little wave. Exhale, lower your hips, so open your shoulders, breathe in. And breathing out, come back into a tabletop position, beautiful. In here, we align again our hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. As we breathe in, we're gonna bring that right leg up. And as we breathe out, we're gonna open that right leg towards the right side. Perfect. In here, breathe in, point your toes up, look forward, and as you breathe out, bring your hips back. And we do it again, breathing up. And hips back as you exhale. And the next inhale, we come in here, same breath, hold it in there, open that left arm to the left, and exhaling, bring that left shoulder to the ground. Beautiful, keep active and you can support your foot on the ground, the right one. Breathing in, bring that right hand up, opening your chest, trying to active in there and lengthening. And as you exhale, softly bring that right hand towards the outside of the left thigh, relaxing your head your face take a full breath in and a full breath out beautiful as we breathe in gentle bring that right hand up we connect with the movement and the breathing exhaling push the ground and coming to your kind of tabletop again and we're gonna have our toes tucking the left foot as we breathe in with the strength and control we're gonna bring our right leg up in a three-legged dog position breathing out with control run, roll your spine and allow your knee to come to your chest towards the knee align your shoulders to your hands breathe in and as we breathe out with control allow that right foot to rest in in the middle of the hands so allow your back foot to go in the side we're gonna find our warrior two exhale stay here activating your hips activating your legs and softening your shoulders and your chest look between that front hand in the middle in the middle finger take a full breath and stay here lower maybe a little more the hips breathe out beautiful and as we breathe in point that right palm up bring it back exhale as we breathe in go to the top of the mat find your way into a plank full breath in and breathing out down or facing dog beautiful take a full breath in stay there pedal your feet find your little movements and a full breath out and with feet as wide as the uh, as the hips bring your knees again as wide as the hips too towards the ground beautiful find your alignment into a tabletop exhale in here breathing in bring that right that left leg up breathe out bring that left foot towards the left side this time beautiful breathing in here and we soften in the hips point that toes up and exhale bring your hips towards the hips breathe in go up again and breathe out 
hips towards the heels. And as you breathe in, bring your body up, support your foot, hold that breath and bring that right hand up. As you breathe out, we bring that right shoulder down into the ground and bring that left hand up, breathing in. Keep it active in your leg and in your arm that is on the ground and breathing out, just bring that left hand outside the right leg and stay here, softening your jaw, softening your eyebrow, whatever you are. Allow your body to melt in the posture. Take a full breath. And a full breath out. <sighs> Beautiful. As we breathe in, gentle lengthen that left arm. And as you breathe out, push that left hand into the ground. Find again here your supports. And as we breathe in with control, I'm trying to make it like if it was very easy. Eh? Bring that left leg up. And as you breathe out, bend that knee, bring it towards the chest, rounding the spine, beautiful, align your shoulders to the wrists, breathe in, and as you breathe out, the left uh, foot goes between your hands, lower the hips, open them towards the right side of the mat, and find now your warrior two, exhale, and here we always make sure our legs are strong, our pelvic floor is strong, abs, relax in the face, relax in the shoulders, Look in your fingers in the front hand. Take a full breath, hold it in there. Stay for the exhale. As we breathe in, we bring that left palm facing up and breathing out, bring that arm up and back, lengthening that left side of the body, beautiful. As we breathe in again, come into your flow, to your plank. Exhale, all the air, stay there. Breathe in, and as we breathe out, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Find your pedaling in here, just little by little. Allowing your body to stretch, allowing your body to open. And with gentle attitude towards us, with love, just allowing this softness, this beautiful feminine energy to come to us. As we take a full breath, we're gonna look between the hands and in here we can go, Little by little, maybe just little tiny steps until we get to the top of the mat. Doesn't matter while we look, we just try the best we can. And as we breathe in again, lengthen that spine, looking forward, bend the knees, and allow your body to fold down. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. Take a full breath in. And as we breathe out, let's go up, vertebra by vertebra, slowly. Beautiful. Breathing in, bring those arms up, look between your hands, and breathing out, hands to the heart center. And breathe in, bring your arms up. Breathing out, fold your body down, beautiful. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine, and in here we're gonna push our hands into the mat. Step or jump back, and find your chaturanga. As we step, jump back, we always try to do it soft. We don't land like a rock in the ground. Exhale. And as you breathe in again, find your Urva Mukha or maybe Cobra. Always pushing the shoulder back, the shoulder to the back. And opening that chest. Breathing out. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Stay in here for one breath. And exhale. As we breathe in, we're going to bring that right leg up. And as we breathe out, we bring that right foot between the hands. Beautiful. Lower the hips, open into your warrior two, go all the way up. Breathe in, stay there, and breathing out, just settle into the posture. We're going to stay in here, take a full breath in. And a full breath out. One more. Breathe in with no rush. We relax the face, relax the shoulders, exhale all there, and as we breathe in again, open that right palm up and bring it all the way back, exhale, beautiful. Breathing in, support your right elbow, your right um, forearm into the right leg, and open that left arm up, exhaling there. Breathe in, let's keep it flow, we go up again and back, exhale, lengthen that right side. Breathe in, support that forearm, and breathe that, lengthen that left hand, beautiful. In the next inhale, we go all the way up, one more. Exhale, right hand up, and as we inhale again, we're gonna lengthen that right leg, very strong in here. Our hips are still um, facing to the left, and we're gonna start lengthening that right hand towards the front of the mat, beautiful. We active that left hand to take a full breath in, 
And as we breathe out, we can bring that right hand towards the shin or maybe even to the ground. And here we always make sure we're not leaning back or forth or back or forth. We open that left hand up, look up, take a full breath in. Try to find your alignment, try to find your posture. Instead of trying to reach the ground, just allow yourself to be easy with yourself and allow the limits that your body's showing you. Take a full breath out. Beautiful. As we breathe in, bend that front knee and find again that right hand all the way to the back. And breathing in, just flow into your vinyasa again. Maybe this time we want to choose another chaturanga, lowering the knees, finding our chest down, pointing the hips up. I love this variation. Breathing in, lower your hips, bring your chest forward. You can do a cobra or maybe Urdhva Mukha as you prefer and breathing out, downward facing dog. Stay one, breathing in here. And exhale all the air, beautiful. Breathe in, bring that left leg up. And breathing out, bring that left foot between your hands, lower in your hips. Open the back foot into the side and find your um, warrior two, beautiful. And again, we keep it very active in those legs, active those glute pelvic floor. Stay there, take a full breath. And a full breath out, softening your jaw, between your eyebrow, your shoulders, keep it active. Stay one more breath with control. Just connecting with that powerful posture. It's a warrior two and with the soften we can bring on it. As we breathe in, open that left palm facing up and as you breathe out, bring that left hand all the way up and back. Beautiful, as we breathe in, bring that forearm into the front leg. Breathe out, stretch the right hand onto, onto the head. Breathe in, go all the way up and back. Exhale. And one foot more. Exhale. Go forward, stretch. Find that opening, find that easing to that little flow. Breathing in, bring that left hand back again. And this time, breathe out all the air here. And as you breathe in again, lengthen that front leg and start lengthening with beauty that front uh, hand towards the front of the mat, the left hand active your right hand. Take a full breath in, stay there. You stay active, very active in those hips and breathing out. Bring your body into your chin or maybe into the ground and open that right hand up. And again, we don't lean forward. We're, it's like if we had a wall the, just in front of us. And instead of just pushing ourselves, of doing something we can't right now, just find ease in here. Just be easy with yourself and allow yourself to be whatever your body is telling you to be. That's completely okay. Take a full breath in and breathe all the air out. Beautiful. One more. Breathe in. And exhale. As we breathe in again, bend that front knee, bring that left arm up and back again. Exhale all the air. Beautiful. And as we breathe in, find your way into your vinyasa. Choose the variation you want to chaturanga, or if you want to skip it, that is also okay. Find your breathing in your Udva Mukha Cobra. And breathing out, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a full breath, stay in there. And a full breath out. Breathing in, we're gonna look between the hands, a step or jump forward and feet together, or maybe a little open in here. Beautiful. As you breathe in, we're gonna lengthen that spine. And as you breathe out, we're gonna just fold forward. Relax that neck, relax your face. Maybe bend a little your knees if you need to. Sometimes it feels just better when we bend them a little more. Take a full breath, stay down again, breathe out. And as we breathe in again, we lengthen the, the spine, looking forward. And in here, I invite you to maybe do a little step to open your feet a little more, as wet as the mat or the hips. Exhale, all the air. And we're gonna just bend the left knee, support our left hand into the ground, and exhale, and open the right hand. Take a full breath, stay in there. And a full breath out. Beautiful. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, allow your body, your hand to go down, bend your right knee, and exhaling, open that left hand up. And in here, we always try to find opening in the posture, lengthen that spine, open the chest. I think it feels way better, the posture, when we actually do that. Take a full breath in, stay there. 
and a full breath out. One more breath in, and as you breathe out, just go all the way down. Breathe in, lengthen your spine, maybe find your way into your vinyasa. Try to just jump back soft and exhale, chaturanga. Just choose the one you want. Take a full breath, open your chest, and a full breath out, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a full breath in, stay there. And a full breath out. And as we breathe in, bring that right leg up. Breathing out, bring that right foot between your hands. Lower the hips, open them to the left. We keep it flowy, so bring the body up at the same time that we bring that right hand up and back. Exhale. Breathe in, find your forearm. Maybe this time even you can try to find your fingertips into the ground. Exhale, opening your hips without leaning forward. Breathing, go all the way up, strong your hips. Exhale. Beautiful breathing up, exhale, go forward. And one more breathing, go all the way up and back, stretch even deeper. And as we breathe in, lengthen that front leg, find your trikonasana. Exhale, we just flow in here. Breathe in, look up into your left hand. Breathe out, stay there. Take a full breath in and out. And in here, with our hand, if it's in our chin, we're gonna just allow it to come into the inside edge of the leg in the inside side. We're gonna bend the knee, the right knee, and in here we're gonna try, maybe try to grab those hands on the back and supporting here very good in your, in your feet. Open the left um, shoulder up. Stay here for one, breathe in. Good, breathe out. And we're gonna find a little balance posture here. I invite you to just try it out. It is too much. Just listen to your body, maybe find whatever posture it suits you better today. And as you breathe in, and so we're gonna go left foot comes to the top of the mat. I'm gonna just uh, turn around <laughs> so you can look at me. Breathe out, we're gonna support very strong that left foot. We're gonna look into a point, a specific point, so we can just keep our gaze in there. And as you breathe in with your belly tight, strong, strong body, Soften our hearts. We're gonna start moving all our body up. Beautiful. Open the chest, take a full breath in. Beautiful. Flying bird paradise. Paradise and oh my goodness, I just confuse it all. Eh? So take a full breath. And as you breathe out, we're gonna lengthen that right leg if you can. Try to find ease in here, even if it feels terrible. We just soften, eh? Take a full breath. Stay there, you're doing it great. And full breath out. Doesn't matter how much your mind can tell you, you can. You always can if you actually want really to do it. We're just powerful women. Take a full breath, whatever you are, and ask you breathe out. Bend the knee with control, with just the love in here. Find your body down. So we're pointing with our right foot forward. And we're gonna just open our arms. I invite you to bring your right hand into the diagonal right of your right foot. We're gonna just push that left leg up, take a full breath and open maybe that left arm up to breathe out. Wow, beautiful. Lengthen your spine, lengthen everything in here. Take a full breath, stay one more. And a full breath out. And as you breathe in, start bending that right knee. You, your step back and we find again warrior exhale bring that right hand all the way back beautiful breathe in find your flow into your vinyasa or we meet in um, downward facing dog whatever variation you want breathe in your chest and breathe out downward facing dog excellent take a full breath in here and a full breath out. And breathing in, bring that left leg up, very strong. Breathe out, bring that left foot between your hands and we keep it flowy open. Your back foot and go all the way up. Bring that left hand back in here in your warrior. Exhale, beautiful, breathe in, keep it flowy forearm or maybe even the fingertips this time. Breathing out, lengthen that right hand towards the head. And as you breathe in, go all the way up, very strong in those legs and those ups. And breathe out, just fold forward in here. Beautiful. One more time, breathing, go all the way up, left hand up and back, lengthening that side, 
of the body. Exhale, there, stay here. And as we breathe in, lengthen that left leg. Lengthen your body, find your trikonasana. And again, in your chin, in, your, in the ground, with the fingertips, whatever your body's telling you, open that right hand up and look at it. Take a full breath. Open your jaw, soften your eyebrows. Ah, oh, soften your shoulders. So for the mouth every time you need it, eh? So if our hand is in the chin, we just bring it on the inside of our left leg. Breathing in, we're gonna bend that left knee. Breathing out, we try to grab those hands. Breathe in, just find your posture. And breathing out, open that right shoulder up. Beautiful. Stay here, take a full breath. Prepare for what is coming. No rush. I'm trying to bring the ease into that flow. Breathe. And as we breathe in again, so we go. Right leg to the front. Maybe more beautiful than me here. Breathe out. And we're going to support that right foot into the ground. Find your gaze into a point. Keep your core active. And as we breathe in, just bring your body up slowly no rushing find your center take a full breath right on of paradise that was me a full breath that just lengthen that left leg beautiful take a full breath in easing here softening the posture breathe out softening your mind Take a full breath again. Exhale in one more breathing. And as you exhale, we control. Just go all the way down. Beautiful. Your left toes are pointing forward. Open those arms and find your left hand into the diagonal to off the left foot and breathing in. Bring that right leg up and just open yourself in Ashta Chandrasana. Breathe out, stay there, lengthening your spine, just lengthening everything in your body. Breathe in, ah, and out. And as we breathe in again, bend that left knee, breathing out, support your back foot, find your warrior. Breathing in, bring that left hand up and back, exhale, all there to stretch. Beautiful, and breathe in. Find your way into your plank, exhale, chaturanga, whatever variation you choose. Open your chest, take a full breath. And from here, we're going to support the knees. And breathing out, just bring our heels, our hips towards the heels. And just allow our forehead to rest, our forearms to rest into the ground. We're going to take a full breath. Maybe through the mouth. <sighs> Feeling good. Maybe one more. And through the mouth. <sighs> We give ourselves a little moment in here. Just to relax and just allow the body to take all the benefits of our practice. Beautiful. As we breathe in again, I invite you to look between your hands. You have the forearms into the ground. And I can, you can just choose whatever you want to do, but I can invite you to try this little transition. So putting your hands on your forearms, we're going to start moving the chin down and the hips up. Trying to find that little chaturanga, then shift the weight into the hands. Point your hips up, keep pushing your chest up. And maybe here, find your cobra, breathe in. As we breathe out down, we're facing dog. Beautiful. Beautiful flow. Take a full breath. And maybe breathing out, just try to find your heels into the ground. Full breath in, stay there. And a full breath out. Beautiful. The next inhale. Lift your heels, lower your knees, maybe cross in there your ankles and find a seated position. We're gonna lengthen both legs to the 
sun. Take a little of the glutes back to find your sitting bones. I invite you to just bend your knees. And with your hands, try to like give yourself a little hug in here. Take a full breath, look forward. And as you breathe out, allow your arms to relax and your neck to relax. <sighs> Exhale all the air. Take a full breath. And a full breath out. As so we breathe in again, we're gonna just look forward. I invite you to come into your back. Exhale, bring your knees towards the chest. Hug them, allow your head to rest on the ground. Maybe balance your head to one side and then to the other. Full breath in and as you breathe out, allow your left leg to touch the ground. And you can cross your right leg on top and so as much as you can. Maybe try to tuck those toes in the calf. As we breathe in, open those arms and as you breathe out, find your crossing in the arms. Left arm on top of the right. Align your elbows to the shoulders. Support your hands into the forehead. Take a full breath in. A full breath out. Stay there. Allowing to just feel your energy, to feel your body. One more breathe in. And breathing out, just open your arms. Beautiful. You can just bring that right knee to the chest. And with your left hand, you're going to just grab it and push it all the way to the left side, looking at the right hand. Staying there, take a full breath. And breathe out. More, breathe in. And out. And breathing in again. Bring that right leg into the ground, that right sole of the foot. And then just cross your left leg on the, well, on the right one. <laughs> As you breathe in, you bring your arms up, breathing out, cross the arms, right arm on top of the left. And just hello. That alignment between your elbows, your shoulders, and rest your hands in your face, in your forehead. Take a full breath in. And exhale the air. Inhale one more, and as you exhale, just to start opening those arms to the sides, bring that left knee towards the chest, and with your right hand this time, breathe in, and breathing out, just go in a twist towards the right, looking up your left arm, take a full breath, stay in there, and a full breath out, beautiful. Full breath in and exhale all the air. Next time we inhale, you bring the knees into your chest. We're gonna hug them with both hands, bring our head between them, and just give a little kiss to each knee. That's a usual breathe in. And as you breathe out, just allow your body to open here. Your legs to open, your arms to open. Maybe this time the palms are facing up. 
Allow your body to melt in here. Begin a full breath in. And out. Just allow the body to relax, our mind to just observe the body. As you breathe in again, slowly move your fingers and toes. And bring your knees into the chest. And when you feel ready at your rhythm, you lean into your right side of the body. Slowly find your way back into a seated position. Feminine energy is about not controlling, it's about allowing. And just like during the practice, we just allow our body, we just allow life to show us the way. Because we know we're safe. One of our biggest powers as women is know how powerful we are. Be certain of that. We all have that. I invite you to bring your palms together to the heart center. Maybe find an intention to close this practice for the rest of your day. Maybe ask one more time, how can I ease or where can I ease in my life more, soften in my life more? Namaste. I hope you all enjoy the practice and super happy to make this practice today for you. It's a class that we did here in Portugal where I'm teaching classes just for women and it's been such a big journey for me too. And super excited that I can share it with the rest of the world, what is going on here. <laughs> Thank you so much and looking forward to read your comments and see you in the next time.